Kenyan police officers found guilty of killing three people. Three police officers in Kenya have been found guilty of murdering three men, including human rights lawyer Willie Kimani, six years after their bodies were found in the river. The triple killing prompted exceptional outage in Kenya, with hundreds of people protesting in the streets. The High Court judge revealed in gruesome detail how Kimani, who worked for International Justice Mission (IGM), was abducted while leaving Mavoko Law Courts in Nairobi and tortured and killed, along with Manda and Mururi. Their bodies were discovered a week later. Outside the court, Hannah Kimani, the wife of Willie Kimani, said it had been a long and difficult six years waiting for justice. She said, "I would like to say that us getting justice today offers a source of comfort to our hearts. Although it may not bring Willie Kimani back, it may bring comfort to our hearts." In an interview with the Guardian last year, Paul Kinuthia, Kimani's father, said, "I have a wound in my heart." As long as this case is in the court, the wound won't heal. Each year that goes by is a reminder of how my son and two others were killed. Meanwhile, killings by police officers have risen, according to Missing Voices, a group of organizations investigating unlawful killings in Kenya. Seventy-two people have been killed by the police this year, and last year, one hundred and eighty-seven people were killed, up from one hundred and fifty-eight in twenty twenty. Other cases pending trial involving police officers include that of Carrington Minor, a University of Leeds student who was shot dead in December 2018. An officer pleaded not guilty to murder in April 2020. As of April 2022, the case had been adjourned at least three times and still hadn't gone to a full hearing. This is BBS News. Thank you, and see you in the next videos.